All right, y'all, Redneck Road Trips here, and today we are back at SeaWorld for our second day uh, here in Orlando. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to film today. Today's just all about trying to get one more ride on all of the coasters, all the major coasters anyway, and then catching that one show, the whale show that we didn't get to see yesterday, the Orca Encounter, I think is what it's called. It's supposed to start raining around 1 o'clock, I think. So we're going to try to do as much as we can before the rain sets in. When it starts raining, we're going back to the beach. We don't want to set out here like we like we did yesterday and like we did that second day at Bush Gardens. So hopefully you guys will join us and we'll have a good time today. So, we just rope dropped SeaWorld Orlando, and now we're gonna go try to get front row on Pipeline this morning. I don't know how busy that coaster usually is first thing in the morning. I would assume it's pretty busy, just because of the fact that um, it's like right at the front of the park, so. I think we're going in the right direction anyway. I don't know, I still haven't gotten this park down completely, but we'll see. Okay guys, change plan. Pipeline is down right now. Said they're having technical difficulties. It's not ready to open with the park. So we're gonna go get on another coaster. I'm not sure which one yet, just whichever one's closest to us. <laughs> just got off Manta in the front row. And to me, it's still a great ride, but I think it's just, it's better in the back. What do you think? It's definitely better in the back. Yeah, it's, it's more intense. I mean, that loop is still intense, but it's just nowhere near as intense in the front as it is the back, which uh, the view's a lot better, you know. At least you got all that open uh, viewing area out there instead of looking at the bottoms of people's feet, so. <clears throat> but yeah, if I only, if I could only ride it one time, I would suggest uh, right in the back. It's worth it. So we thought, saw this sign here for crack and it says it's open from nine to eight. That's kind of weird because the park is open until 10. So I don't, I don't understand that, but I'm sure there's a good reason for it. But yeah, it's just kind of odd that it closes two hours before the park closes. So maybe it's a staffing thing, who knows? But anyway, we're gonna ride Kraken next. got off of cracking in the front row it's all right i mean it's it's still rough wouldn't it's it it's a headbanger <laughs> it's a headbanger for sure i even tried to do the the turtle technique uh that probably was just even worse of an idea because the back of my head kept smacking the headrest i think that's kind of jarred my brain and gave me a little bit of a headache this morning but now i think we'll ease over to something a little bit smoother and go do mako see what that's like in the front row y'all it still kills my soul that we're here and penguin tracks not open i mean it it's a family coaster but it looks so fun just based on what we've seen it's it's kind of on the big side for a family coaster and it looks like something we've never seen and there it goes right there i mean it's not fast but it's just the little airtime hills it just it looks amazing was you vibing to that music there <laughs> Do it again. Does that make you want to? <laughs> I guess. Do it. <laughs> One thing I want to touch on right quick, guys, is I think it's neat how they have these like seashells in some of the concrete here. There's a Father's Day sign. I don't know if I touched on that yesterday. But yeah, it's, it's not all of the concrete down here, not all of the pathways, but a lot of them has like seashells in it. I think that's kind of neat. See like right here it doesn't, but then this part right here does. I don't know. To me that's neat. Maybe not to you guys, I don't know. 
All right, y'all, we made it to Mako. It says it's a five minute wait, but I think it may be more of a walk on it because we haven't had to stop at all yet going up the stairs. So, we're gonna ride it on the front row and we'll talk about it when we get done. So we just got off of Mako in the front row. It's a fantastic coaster. Uh, the front may be a little bit better. I'm not sure. But one thing it does make me do is really miss Diamondback at Kings Island. I know I keep comparing it to Diamondback. But to me, Diamondback, the air time is just better and more sustained. So this rabbit just ran out on the trail here beside of us. Go, Mr. Bunny. Oh, hey, I seen a little bit, a little baby. That's probably why it was waiting. Let's let's move on and let it reunite with its baby. Icebreaker is thirty minutes. We're gonna try to do it right quick. We've got we've got about forty. 50 minutes to kill before uh, the whale show so we're gonna do that right quick and then um, we'll go, we're gonna do icebreaker and then we're gonna go and catch the whale show and once that's over we will go and try to get on pop line and then get out of here before it starts raining again because today we didn't bring ponchos every other day we've had them but today we just forgot to bring them this is a 30 minute wait uh, it could be 30 minutes I don't know it was here yesterday it seems like we waited a little bit longer than this and it wasn't the line was a little longer than this and it wasn't 30 minutes I don't feel so may not actually be 30 minutes today we shall see <laughs> and carefully step over the orange and blue bar. Thank you for riding Icebreaker and enjoy. Just got off Icebreaker in the front. What do you think about the front row? It's not as good as the back because you don't go as far up on that peak. No, no, front row is not, not as good like she said. It's still a good little ride. My biggest complaint is it's just too short, which I get it, you know, you know, I have to go back and forth a few times, so. Obviously, it can't be real long because the wait times would just be atrocious. So I get it, but um, yeah, I just wish it was a little bit longer. Other than that, great coaster. Where are you at? <laughs> Where? I seem like I heard him say something. He was up there and I Yeah. He went to Kentucky. He went to say Natural Bridge. Yeah, he, he, he's out of here. We came to visit him and he's out of town. He's probably over at Bush Gardens or something. We didn't go to the Sesame Street land over there, so I don't know if they had one of those over there or not. Maybe. All right, if we've got a few minutes, we're gonna to try to get on the sunny day carousel right quick. Mainly just trying to kill a little bit of time and get out of the sun. And this is kind of unique, so why not? I want them Well, it looks like my steed will be pink. Let's see if I can get up here. Y'all check out my pretty pink pony. She wanted the purple striped one, so that's why I'm on the pink one. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's a zebra. 
we'll go with zebra. We didn't expect it. It made like a horse neighing sound. It did, and it scared her to death. She was looking around trying to find the horse. That was a cute little carousel. Like I said there a while ago, that that horse that did the neigh right before we started kind of startled us. Especially her, she jumped, she was looking around. She was like, where's the horse? We thought one had broke loose or something. And the ride took off, so it was kind of, kind of weird. But it was funny too. It sounded so realistic. I know, it was like right in your ear. But anyway, it's good you know, to use it to get out of the, out of the heat and kind of slow the pace down, but I think we're going to get some refreshments and get ready for the orca encounter. I'll tell you one thing, these Florida parks are undefeated when it comes to price gouging. I mean, it's ridiculous. This was like eight bucks. And her drink was almost seven mm -hmm. and that popcorn was almost nine. Like, I mean, we knew it was gonna be bad anyway. And then Crustable down here is like 11 bucks. For eleven dollars, it better have the crust on it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I mean, that's that's how they get you. They get you in here, and then they uh, price gouge you with their food and drinks because they know you got to have them. We usually try to just use the the water fountain, but um, every once in a while, you need some actual water that doesn't come straight out of the tap, or at least I do, because if I drink enough of that stuff, I start getting sick. But um, yeah, we're just sitting here waiting on the orca encounter. After that, I think we're going to ride pipeline and then try to get out of here before the weather hits. Just got done with the orca encounter. What'd you think of it? It's the best show that we've watched so far. Well, I guess it was our last show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I liked it. You know, it was kind of neat seeing the the killer whales jumping out of water and stuff like that. It's it's crazy how they can move. Um, but now, like I said yesterday about like dolphins and stuff. I'm kind of conflicted because you feel bad for the animal. I mean, they're stuck in that in that pool. They're not out in the ocean where they should be. But I guess they were maybe born here like the others, like the dolphins were. I think they so. a lot of them was rescued. Oh, so they were rescued. Okay. But uh, so I don't know if they could be released back into the wild or not. But now they did have like a show there at the beginning talking about like all of the animals they rescued and released since since the park opened and it was like over 40,000 and counting so at least they're using you know their resources to try to make it a better place for all of the sea creatures but yeah so I think we're gonna go try to get on a pipeline right quick and then head for the exit I wonder what kind of show they do over here. I don't know if it's like maybe fireworks or something at the end of the night. Because I thought the Orca Encounter was going to be here where it's kind of open. But it's not. So I know they say that they do fireworks out here at night. I wish we could have stayed until last, you know, last night to watch. But I don't think they even had a show last night. It was pouring the rain. And it wasn't supposed to stop until late in the night. So... I don't know if they had a show. We wasn't here to see it if they did, but 
We can always look it up on YouTube, I'm sure. Some fantastic vlogger out there has already posted it, so that's what we'll have to do. Because um, it does look like it's going to start raining again, and it's supposed to here around 1.30 or so. I don't know exactly what time it is right now. I think it's about 12.30. So we're going to hit pipeline, and then like I said, we're going to head towards the exit, go back to the beach, and just kind of relax on our last day here in Florida. Well, y'all, as soon as we got in line for the coaster, it went down. I don't know what's going on with it, but the line's moving a little bit, but that's just because people are getting out of line. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happened to it. It was down earlier when we tried to get on it, and now it's down again. We're going to try to wait it out. Hopefully, the rain doesn't come before they get it running again. I don't know if maybe they can't do a two-train op or what here, but man, they really need to have two trains on this thing. Because the queue line's not very big, but it's all the way out outside now, where it was when we first got in. People are leaving, so I'm sure that's breaking it up a little bit, but yeah, they, they need two trains. I don't know if they don't have them or if they're just choosing not to run them today because the park doesn't seem to be as busy. But uh, in our opinion, they need two trains. Well, we just got off pipeline. Front row, what do you think about it? I couldn't tell much of the difference between the front row and in the back. I, yeah, I couldn't either now. It could be where we, it's been like two hours since we rode a coaster last, but that launch seemed pretty intense today. But man, that coaster went down twice while we were in line. And uh, load times were just crazy. Like there was having a lot of problems with the the collars, things that go over it, you know, the vests. There's a lot of problems with that. Wasn't working for people. They just, to me, they really need two trains. I don't know why they don't have two, but they need it badly. But anyway, I think we're gonna make our way towards the exit. Guys, I think that's gonna do it. We have officially left the park and we're gonna go back to the hotel and probably go relax on the beach for a little while and uh, just hang out and enjoy the rest of the vacation. It was a hot day here. We managed to get all the rides in. I guess that's the that coaster or the, yeah. We saw, oh, and by the way, we saw a bunch of helicopters going over, and it was kind of freaky, 
given everything going on in Cuba right now. I don't know what they were doing, but they clearly weren't tour helicopters, so who knows. But anyway, I think that's going to do it here at SeaWorld. We got some shirts. Got a Mako shirt and a SeaWorld shirt for her. Uh, Mako shirts for me. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it today. I may film a little bit more this evening, but that might be in another video. I'm not 100% sure yet. But if it is, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And until next time, y'all be good.